you're watching a cohort TV live in Abuja. As a ministerial briefing for directors and for starters of the Federal Ministry of Health, my name is Tom Ford Olayinka. This proceeding was conveyed by the newly appointed Minister of State, Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alausa, to deliberate on insight and collaborative mechanisms that will improve the country's health sector. We recall that the health sector is key component of the country's development, thus the need to strategize on an innovative approach for all Nigerians. The coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Ali Pate, and the Minister of State, Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alausa, after a three-day event, hosted a media for an interactive session. While addressing journalists, Professor Pate reiterates the reason for deliberating with key actors in the health sector for rapid health reforms and services to Nigerians. It says the ministry will improve quality of governance and minimize political interference which can only be achieved by working together as health can be a basis for unifying the country as it affects everyone. Constructive manner so that you understand where we are coming from and where we are going to go. And you, as stakeholders in this enterprise, to then tell Nigerians and also hold us to account. That is the direction that we are taking, to do it together. Because it is all of us as Nigerians building consensus that health is important and we need to break through that will succeed. The president has made his commitment. Nigerians have given him a mandate. But it is all of us now, and we are prepared to lead in that direction. We'll do that in four main areas. First, to improve the quality of governance in health. How we lead the ministry, how our agencies are led, how the hospitals themselves are led, the leadership of the hospitals. And we'll appraise the leadership of our teaching hospitals, federal medical centers, and specialist hospitals so that there is a way to oppress performance and minimize the political interference because health is too important to be just left in the realm of politics just by itself. We'll strengthen the regulatory capacity of our institutions, institutions like NAFDAQ, to regulate better the quality of what gets into Nigerians, their food, their drugs, and other health professional regulatory entities that need to regulate the practice. And that is only on the federal level. We will work with the states to improve the regulatory function at the subnational level. Dr. Alausa in his address emphasized the reason to ensure data collection is accurate, validated, and can only be trusted locally and internationally. These beliefs will help accelerate effectiveness of governance to improve health outcomes change the disease burden in Nigeria progressively. We will begin to digitalize our health care system. Digital, digitalization of our health care system because it, in this day and age, if you don't have good data, validated data, you can, you're, you're, you're just like throwing that in the dark. We need to begin to make sure that the data we collect those data are accurate, they're validated, they can be trusted internationally and, and locally, and those data will begin to use to deliver care to our people. And then once you have validated data that you can trust, you can begin to see the indices, where you're getting better, where you're doing well, and where you're not doing well. And then you can redial your interventions to improving those outcomes. As part of our digitalization of our healthcare system, we're going to roll out a national electronic medical record, where electronic, electronic medical record platform, where our public, primary care centers, all our tertiary hospitals will come on the same platform. Then as we move into the future, we'll encourage each state government to use the same platform. Once we have a unified electronic medical record platform, it begins easy. It, 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 becomes easy. It, it, it becomes easy to start the process of data where we see patients, we see them, and then you can now begin to share data. Somebody that went to Lou today 
uh, left loot and two days later presented in an hospital in a Butemeta, Federal Medical Center, Butemeta. They don't need to repeat all the tests they've done. Those tests that were done two, three months ago is available. So there's continuum of care. Once you start offering those kind of, those level of care services to patients, it would eventually reduce cost of care. Still speaking, he assures Nigerians of the ministry's transparency and accountability across the entire health system, which will make information about healthcare processes, costs, quality, and outcomes easily accessible and understandable to all stakeholders. He further reiterated the ministry's commitment to address the issue of fragmentation and lack of interoperability, which currently negatively affects the health sector operations. So as we continue to build on the digitalization of our healthcare, we also discuss, and one of the things we're going to be doing differently is also the way we regulate our healthcare system. We have to hold our facilities, the healthcare facilities, more accountable. We have to hold our provider, physicians, nurses, more accountable. The way our healthcare system is being regulated now, it's very fragmented. We will consolidate and unify our regulatory system. And the third component of what I'm going to talk about, and I keep saying I'm trying to avoid to be, uh, to be duplicitous here, is research. Right now, we have a lot of research institutions. Everybody is working independently. We will rejig our research institution, make them work collaboratively, get them to. Uh, get them to do what they're meant to do. Assuredly, Dr. Tunji Alausa expressed commitment to work with Mr. President Bola Tinobu and everyone in the sector to deliver the best health care to Nigerians because a healthy nation is a productive nation. With shopping around for the best people that he can give the mandate to, to help him deliver what he wants to do for the citizens of Nigeria, the president, the president has asked me and Professor Pate to work for him via his own directive to channel all our efforts in delivering the mandate that he has committed to giving to Nigerians. We don't have any choice. We have to work on the president. So there's a lot more that we can do in health. And that's what the president mandated us to do. And that's what we prepared ourselves and have been discussing how we're going to move forward. And we'll do these things together. It's not just the ministers of health, the coordinating minister and the minister of state, or the civil servant, the federal ministry of health. It's the federal government and its constituent ministers, uh, ministries uh, departments and agencies who have something to do with the health of the population, as well as the subnational level, the state governments have an important role and responsibility to advance the health of Nigeria's population. The media interactive session followed immediately after the coordinating minister, Professor Ali Party, finished this address. Stability that the health profession has, and we cannot do it if we are always fighting among ourselves. So I will say. Uh, your point is a very good one, and I'm sure the health workers that are hearing this will also acknowledge that we should move to that phase where these issues are less. More money for health. An excellent question. Where is the money going to come from? The issue is that we collect far less revenue compared to our GDP as a government overall. And within that revenue, health receives less. So as we settle down, the Coordinating Minister of Finance and Economy, Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, I believe would like to see what is the result of what is already being spent to argue for more. And so long as this path that we're on, we can demonstrate the results that we're going to be achieving, the Minister of Finance, I'm confident, and the Minister of Budget, National Planning and Budget, will ensure that we are on that steady path to meet the President's campaign promise to increase resources for health. We have the manpower, we have professors scattered around all our, country, uh, all our countries that they're yearning 
to do research. So what we're going to do differently going forward, you can't continue to ask money, money, money from the government. You, have, you, you first have to look inward. We will coordinate, we will coordinate our resources. What we look at what we have now, and then see what we need to have a robust uh, research uh, process is going on in our country. Most countries of the world, they have a dedicated part of their uh, budget. If you go to, if you look at National Institute of Health in America, hundreds of billions of dollars are dedicated uh, to, uh, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars dedicated to research. We can't ask for government to do everything. So we will mobilize the resources that we have. We will develop research resource center where everybody can now go in, look at the various kind of research that is available, both in Nigeria and in the, uh, and around the world. And you know, this most several of these research are grant based. We would put, we, 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 we're working on uh, putting good process together where we can actually get more international um, don uh, funding for research, but they will be in coordinated manner but not the way it's been, not the fragmented way it is now. What we're also going to do, we're going to create a research fund that we're going to work in, we'll be talking to Mr. President. Comfort Olayinka, Eco Hall TV.